Hey guys and dear students, welcome back to my channel. Para sa araw na ito ay tatalakayin natin ang kinds of angles ng Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 2. So, let's start! Ang ating objective sa video ito ay identify angle, name an angle, describes and illustrates the kinds of an angle, and draw the different kinds of an angle. Sa nakaraang video ay pinag-aralan at pinag-usapan natin ang intersecting parallel, and perpendicular lines. So, before we start, let us identify this illustration. One, correct, it's intersecting lines. Two, correct, it's a parallel lines. And three, that's right, it's perpendicular lines. I have here a picture of a clock. Kung inyong mapapansin ang kamay ng orasan, ito ay nagpapakita o halimbawa ng isang angle. But what is an angle? An angle is the union of two rays with common endpoint. Uh oh, what do we mean by rays and endpoint? So, pag sinabi natin ray, it is a set of points that has one end point and an arrow that extends in one direction. So, take a look at this illustration. Ito ay ang representation ng kamay ng orasan. Ang dalawang ray sa illustration ay ang ray LB at ray CB na kung saan nagmet sila sa point B. Ang point B ay ang tinatawag nating vertex. Vertex is the common end points of rays. Kaya kapag ang dalawang ray ay pinagsama or nagmet sa isang point, nakakabuo tayo ng angle. An angle can be named in three ways. First way is by number or angle. So, balikan natin ang illustration. So, ang pangalan ng illustration na iyan ay angle 1 or pwede natin siyang isulat as like this. Gagamit tayo ng sign na ito as representation ng angle. Number 2, by sides or ang ray. So, sa illustration na ito, ang pangalan ng angle ay angle LBC or pwedeng pabaliktad na angle CBL. Third way is by vertex. So, since ang vertex niya ay B, kaya ang pangalan na ito ay pwedeng angle B. An angle also can be measured in degrees. Here are kinds of angles according to its measurement. One, we have right angle. It measures exactly 90 degrees. It forms a square corner. So here we have the example. So the name of that angle is angle 1 or Angle ABS or angle SBA and angle B. Two, acute angle. It measures greater than zero degrees but less than 90 degrees. And 
it is smaller than a right angle. So here is the example illustration. The name of that angle is angle 1 or angle CBN or angle NBC or angle B. And number three, we have obtuse angle. It measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. It is bigger than a right angle. Example illustration. The name of that illustration or obtuse angle is angle 1 or angle GMA or angle AMG or angle M. So let's try to identify this. Give the kind of angle represented by each of the following figures. One, that's right, it is a right angle. Two, that's right, it is an obtuse angle. Three, that's right, acute angle. Four, acute angle again. And number five, correct, it is a right angle. Let's think, think, think of this. There are two children playing outside when suddenly, Hey, Freddy, do you know how to draw an angle with measurement? Yes, Phyllis. You need a protractor to draw an angle. I will teach you how. So, they went home and draw an angle. But before we draw, let's identify first what is a protractor. A protractor is a device used in measuring and illustrating angles. Here is the protractor. Let's start illustrating an angle. So number one, Using a protractor, draw an angle with 80 degrees. So, paano natin draw? So, gagawa muna tayo ng mga pananda na dots ng measurement. So, magsisimula tayo maglagay ng pananda dito sa ilalim sa may 0 degrees. So, dito dalawa. And then, Kung inyo mapapansin sa protractor, may dalawang set of numbers. So, merong nasa loob at merong nasa labas. So, ang kukunin natin na number ay yung nasa ibabaw or nasa labas ng protractor. So, hahanapin na natin ang 80. So, here it is. Pagkatapos natin maglagay ng pananda, Tanggalin na natin ang protractor and gumuhit na tayo ng isang straight line. So, simula sa may 0 degrees kanina at yung 80 degrees. Then, lagyan ng arrow bilang pananda ng angle sa loob. Then, lagyan natin ng pangalan. So, isip kayo ng kahit anong letter na gusto nyong ilagay sa angle. So, para sa ating sample na ito, ang name ng angle natin na may 80 degrees ay angle A and C. Napakadali at napakasimple lamang mag-draw ng angle. Tama, di ba? Example number 2, 125 degrees. So, katulad ng ginawa mo kanina, Gamit ang protractor, maglalagay muna tayo ng pananda. So, sa ilalim, maglagay ka na ng pananda para sa 0 degrees at doon sa dulo. And then, hahanapin na natin ang 125. 
So, titingnan ninyong number ay yung nasa itaas na set of numbers. But, oo, kung inyong mapapansin, wala kang makikita ang eksaktong 125. Pero saan ba natin makikita ang 125? Tama, ito ay nasa pagitan ng 120 at 130. So, ito. So, same thing, pagkatapos natin maglagay ng mga pananda, tanggalin ang protractor and mag-draw tayo ng straight line. And then, lagyan or iisip na tayo ng any letters na pwedeng ipangalan natin sa angle. So, here it is, ang name ng ating angle ay angle F, B, P. And then, don't forget na maglagay ng arrow sa loob ng angle. Napakadali at napakasimple lang, di ba? Remember, an angle is formed when two rays met at a common end point. The common end point of the two rays is is called vertex. Right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. Acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. Obtuse angle is an angle that measures greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. And, a protractor is a device used to measure an angle. Dito na nagtatapos ang ating talakayan tungkol sa kinds of angles. Once again, I'm Mamsi and bye! Hanggang sa muli!